Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is going to be talking about things that I've used up recently. I have a little wooden box that I keep all of my empties in so I can show you in case you care and, you know, show you what I actually use in the day-to-day -day lifing. So uh, it, my box was full, like trucker block full. It was time to do this video so I could get rid of everything. So. If you want to see what I used in the last little while, stick around, we're going to get into it. Let me just say real quick, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, now is a great time to do that. I upload several videos every week, and if you click on the little bell and choose all, YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video, and you can choose to watch it or not. No pressure. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Okay, so this isn't like every single thing. Like I didn't, I didn't hang on to like my body wash. Um, but I do have a couple cans of dry shampoo. I love, love, love this Eva NYC dry shampoo. It is fantastic. My hair doesn't feel oogey after I use it. I only wash my hair once a week. It's incredibly dry. When I don't straighten it, it's naturally curly. So yeah washing my hair more than once a week just isn't an option but i do get some greasy bits so this stuff is excellent and i've been through two i i just keep repurchasing if you are a curly hair girl the eva nyc curl refresher is also a fave but i've been wearing my hair straight so i haven't gone through a bottle of that yet I think I had just used up the last of my makeup remover in my last garbage video. Uh, so I don't have one of those, but I do have a bottle or an empty of micellar water. I like any kind of micellar water really, as long as it doesn't have oil in it because I wear contacts. I cannot get oil in my eyes. That would be bad news bears. I don't take my contacts out until I'm going to bed. So I will often wash my face off you know, a while before I'm going to go to bed. So I can't yuck up my contacts. So I went through one of these and have obviously repurchased and started using another one. I have three little face razors. I really like these super cheap doobies from the Zon. They're not, you know, the most eco-friendly, but they work really, really well. I can use them a couple of times before I have to throw them away. I don't remember what kind this is, but I got it off of Ulta and it was fine, but not worth repurchasing. The cheap little, I think it's maybe Chic from the Zon. Those are definitely much better and easy to get, inexpensive. And I have them on my subscribe and save. So every other month I'll get a package of three and that keeps me clean shaven for the most part. I let I let the peach fuzz grow a bit before I whack it down, but that's mostly because I'm lazy. I have two empty bottles of nail polish. I go through the Seche V pretty regularly. I always use this when I do my nails, but I killed a black, uh, I killed a black nail polish, used every last bit of it up and panic bought a new one because I can't be without black nail polish. I don't use it every day, but I use it a lot. So next up, I have this propolis light ampule. I use this every morning and every other night after I use my snail mucin. I really like this stuff. It seems to be doing a very good job at its job. <laughs> whatever, whatever it does, my skin has been really happy. So that's very cool. I got this in BoxyCharm before I canceled my subscription. It's the Avant Blue Volcanic Stone Purifying Antioxidizing Cleansing Gel. I couldn't use this on my face because it was very heavily scented, which was lovely, but I don't like, I don't know. I'm just very particular about what I put on my face, but I use this in the shower. It was so good. I really liked it a lot and would definitely recommend. I went through one of the Lunar Beauty lip glosses. This is in Expose Me. It's the mango flavor. I love this and have already repurchased. I bought one for my daughter. I bought one for my sister. This stuff is so yummy. You definitely don't get a lot of product in here. I was shocked at how quickly I went through this. 
but it's delightful. I have this one size concealer. I didn't use it up, sadly, but it smells whew, real bad. And I just got it on my nose, so that's super fun. Okay. So yeah, I have to declutter that. I went through one of the e.l.f. lip exfoliators. This is how I take off my liquid lipstick every single time I wear it. Love, love, love this stuff. I went through my like travel size of the Smashbox Superfan Mascara. I really like this for my bottom lashes. I think it's pretty good. Liked it so much I bought a full size. So, there you go. And super sexy, I went through a, ugh, my hair. Blah. I went through a Lumi anti stinkum stick. Love this stuff. Like a lot. I've mentioned before, I don't know that I would stand up to like a vigorous workout, but we all know I'm not doing that. So, <laughs> mustn't worry. I have this empty uh, MAC Prep and Prime Fix It. I'm actually using this in the ABH bottle. I mentioned this in a video a while ago. Um, so I'm reusing the ABH bottle. So I used up all of the ABH setting spray and now I'm using the MAC, but I have the empty MAC bottle. I figure it's six of one half dozen the other, right? I have the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Balm stuff. I have a fan going, my ceiling fan is on because it's hotter than Hades in here. So my hair is blowing around and driving me crazy. Anyway, I used all of the number six. I love this stuff. I already purchased uh, my winter shade and I purchased the um, universal shade, which has no pigment at all. I love, love, love it. If you have an oily T-zone, don't hesitate. Just go get it, press it on with a cheap puff from Amazon and you will be oil free from now on. It's absolutely lovely. This little tiny bottle of micellar water came with the big bottle I repurchased, I think. So I kept it in here and just used it when I was doing my makeup. So yeah, it was free. And I used up my Sunday Riley Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. I have the big size bottle on the go now. This is what I use every other night and I love it. It's so, so, so good. I have an empty refer brush soap, which is what I use to wash all of my makeup brushes. If I have a bunch of just synthetic brushes that I'd used and not many natural hair brushes, I will use the Cinema Secrets to clean it. But if I'm already washing makeup brushes, I just wash them all together in the sink with the soap. And the last thing I have to talk about is lashes. These little Ardell Mega Volumes were very nice. I liked them a lot. The Meredith Duxbury Flutter Lashes from Kiss. So good. I would definitely repurchase those and I'm seriously considering it. And I just dropped the box for the Meredith Duxbury and Kiss 4AM Lashes, which I also really, really liked so much. I have a pair of Unearthly, these were in Divinity. I believe these were just like a, a small, not super in your face pair of lashes. I won't repurchase, but I liked them all right. And I have the Glam Light Strawberry Shortcake lashes. Those were good. I won't repurchase, but I'm not mad at them. And I have a pair of uh, Nokia Joy lashes in Gemma. Use those up. One of my absolute most favorite lashes of all time is the House of Lashes Allure Lights. I love these lashes. They are not affordable, but man, are they good. I really, really like these lashes so much. They have the thicker black band. So some people say the invisible band is easier. It's not for me. I like the thick black band. It just makes it so much easier. I went through a multi-pack of the Ardell Demi Whiskies. These have the invisible band. I don't love them. They're harder for me to put on and they're, I don't know, they're just not my fave. They were good 
like a starting out lash with the um, Kiss Lash Glue Liner. That helped me learn how to put on lashes. So I definitely liked it for that. And then we have this NJC Lashes in Natasha. These ones again are like what I would consider baby lashes. I was actually wearing them the other day and they don't sit right on my eyes. My, my eyelids are quite a bit older, so there's a lot of loose skin and I just, I couldn't get them on quite right. So for the whole day, I didn't like the way they looked, which is annoying since I filmed that day, but it is what it is. They were on. I won't wear them again and I definitely won't repurchase. So that is everything I have for now <laughs> in this little box is like, it's so full. I don't know if I can show you without hurting myself or dumping it. Like it's full to the top. So let me know what you think about these videos. I like to watch empty videos. I don't like super long ones. So if this one isn't annoyingly long, but it's, I like to see what people are genuinely using up. I think that that says a lot and how often, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's the video done and dusted. I hope that you like it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me with these shenanigans. Be good and remember to be kind to you.